Okay guys, welcome back here. Um, you've been asking me for some how-to videos and I'm gonna do, try and do one here for you today. Now, I wanna explain something to you, okay? I'm, I'm not very good at words and I'm not very good at a teacher. Uh, um, I'm a hands-on guy and I'm here alone today. Uh, well, until Dave gets here. Then I'm still alone. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm here, I'm, anyway, I'm here alone today, so it's going to be kind of hard for me at the moment to do this, but I'm going to show you. So our how-to video today, let's cut through the bullshit, I guess. You don't want to hear all the sappy stories. Let's go, the, let's go right to it. Tim's little 57 Chevy GMC slash pickup, he wants hidden tailgate latches. He doesn't like the chains. He wants them out of there. He doesn't like them rattling, banging, scratching the paint, and that's all cool. I personally love chains on a tailgate because I'm an old school kind of guy. I like the scratches and the marks they leave behind and all that kind of stuff. I just think it looks awesome, but you know. Tim wants a beautiful job. He wants his truck to look good and, and, and that's all good, right? So he wants hidden tailgate latches. So I ordered a kit and uh, unfortunately it hasn't come in yet and it's been four to five weeks now. And uh, Tim's truck is all done except for the box. The box is not painted. And it's been sitting here for four or five weeks, the box, we don't paint it because obviously if we're putting hidden tailgate latches in, there might be some bodywork involved. So the kid is not showing up. Now they're telling me another three weeks possibly. Well, no, 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 we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. We're gonna give Tim some hidden tailgate latches and we're gonna do it the other way. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just looking around here. Let me grab something here. I'm gonna show you something. Okay. If you go to your local hot rod store, they're gonna have hidden tailgate latches for sale and they're gonna tell you Chevy, Ford, Dodge, whatever you need. Now we're dealing with, like I say, a 57 GMC pickup, which I know for a fact, I'm not gonna say other years, I just know that 1955 and up, they're the same, the tailgates, okay? Maybe the lettering's different now, but the tailgate overall is the same, if you guys understand what I mean. The shape of it, I should say. Okay, now on a Ford tailgate, we're off topic here, but on a Ford tailgate, it's round tube up top. It's round like that, so are some early Dodges. They're round, and what you can do is if you have a local hot rod shop, you can go in town and you can buy, well, I call them barrel locks, and there they are right there. And what it would do is that lock there, sorry guys, that lock there is meant, these are actually meant for a Ford pickup because they're round, and because Ford have a round tube on top of the tailgate, all that happens is, is that these, this is your tailgate, okay guys? It's tight on a Ford, on a Ford now. These would slide in here and you can read the instructions it'll tell you how to do it when you get them they would slide right in there it's not going in right now because I don't have the little the little handle off here okay okay so the whole thing at the end of the day was I bought these for the Ford to use on Tim's 57 GMC pickup and all you have to do is go out and buy yourself and now it depends on what company that sells these these are one and um, one inch so I bought one inch tubing and all they're held in by is they have o-rings if you can see that right there they have o-rings right there and they're sort of pushed in because you're going to you're going to cut your you know your tube is one inch and it's going to slide into one inch tubing and the, the o-rings are going to be the friction if that's the right word but anyway they're going to be the sealer they're going to hold it in there and once they're in there obviously this knob comes off and you slide it in you slide it in like that then you would mark on your tube where you got to notch it out for your knob to come through that slides back and forth and you would cut that inside, well you're not your tube, I should say your tailgate, you'd cut it. So anyway, basically what I've done here is I've done the exact same thing on T Tim's truck. We've turned Tim's truck into a 50, uh, into a, into a, for these to work and it's easy enough to do it. I'll show you right here. Here we go, okay. So all you're gonna do, all you're gonna do guys, is, I'll set that down there. If you can see, like I said, here, actually, let's take that off there. Sorry, guys. Here, let's take a look at the tailgate up top. Okay, see on the tailgate up top, it is round right here. Then see how it goes flat and then it angles in down here where my thumb's moving? It's not round. It's not a round tube like the, like the early Fords and the early Dodges are. Maybe even early Chevys are round up there. I should know this. I work on this shit all day long, but I forget stuff, right? There's so much old stuff here I forget. So it's not round. So obviously, these barrel locks, which will set right there. I call it a barrel lock. Are not once they're not gonna they're gonna flop around at the end of the tailgate. So the simple solution is just go buy yourself a piece of pipe. Buy yourself a piece of pipe, cut it to the length of your barrel lock, measure that, cut it there, okay? Now if you notice, let's get in here, if you notice, there's a handle there, that handle unscrews, and it's supposed to slide back and forth. That's how you open it. That's what opens these pins. You slide it back and forth. So you gotta mark on the tube where you need to cut that out for that handle to come through. Now the handle unscrews. 
So you unscrew the handle, like so. There we go. And it screws in a long way. And see, there, there you go, guys. So you gotta, you gotta measure that. You gotta measure from here to here because you don't want to be cutting up in here, right? And this here, here we go. Now this isn't, uh, this isn't the exact, actually, this is not the exact tube I used, I'm sorry. This is an, a leftover piece from something else. But anyway, see that would push in, well, it pushes down. I'm not gonna push it down there right now, okay guys? Just pretend it's all the way in. And then you would have to cut here. You'd have to cut somewhere around there so you can pop your handle in and your handle can slide up and down, okay? So with that being said, what I've done here is I've welded a piece of tubing in here and I, you know, I welded it in I welded it in all the way around here, okay? And then what I did was, well, before I welded it in though, I cut it, like I said, I cut the tubing for the handle, and I also marked out and cut the tailgate for the handle. Then you slide your tubing in, you make sure that your two holes line up, then you weld your tubing in, because there's no point in taking it out anymore, and that's it. Once your tubing's in, guess what? Bob's your uncle, you slide this piece in, you're done, you're finished, you're laughing. Now what I did here for a little trick, for a little modification, as I'm going to show you this, is if you look carefully, this normally just came straight across like this. I'm going to cover this hole up. There's how it was normally. Okay, guys? Right up in there, you can see where the handle screws in, right where I'm tapping my finger there. This hole, I'm going to cover this hole up you see here with my finger. That's it. All these pins did was slide back and forth. So what happens is, is when you're trying to open this tailgate, you've got one hand at this end of the tailgate, one hand at this end of the tailgate, and you've got one finger on each of those pins, sliding those pins, and as you're sliding the pins, you're supposed to pull down the tailgate. Well, that kind of makes it a little bit difficult, in my opinion. So, what I did was, we'll go back over here to the vise. Okay, let's get this set up. Just give me one second here, guys. Let me set the camera down. You can still hear me. You're getting a lovely shot of my bench there. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back here. Sorry about that. Okay, so what I did now was... If you can see carefully inside, I'm gonna line this up. If you can see right in there, where I'm trying to screw that in, that's where that screws in. See that, guys, it screws in, okay? And when it screws in, like I said, whoops, sorry guys, it pushes down, like that. But, I started thinking, if you watch, all that is is a round thing. Now, okay, I don't know if you can see, if you can see where that screws in up there. See how I turn that, see the inside moving, guys? Watch carefully, see it? So if that whole thing turns, which is obvious it's gonna turn, what I did then was I thought, why not, when the pin is all the way down at the bottom, oops, sorry, when the pin's all the way down here, why not notch this out over this way? So when you actually put the pin in, let's get our pin screwed back in here. I've moved this so I don't have it quite in line. Don't cross thread it, whatever you do. And there we go. Okay. So why not? See, because normally, that's, I don't know if you can see that with my fat finger, but I got to work it. There we go. Normally, that's how you'd open it. And trust me, they're pretty damn stiff. So now you can just imagine when you got one hand on either side of your tailgate, holding that down, and then you're trying to open your tailgate because that's how it opens. And then when you close the tailgate, you got to hold them down again and then release them because then they would, you have a hole drilled in the side of your box where the pin would come through. I thought, why not, whoops, sorry guys, there we go, why not take that, notch it, and look at that. It's down, it's locked. So when you go to open your tailgate, you take each hand on either end of your tailgate, you push down and you slip and then you lock it in position. Now you can open your tailgate up with your hands, you don't have to be trying to hold those things at the same time. And like I say, Bob's your uncle, you're done. So that's what I did there. So I just, all I did was notch that out. Now be very careful, because if you look carefully and there's a spring, you can, just, you can just see it down in there. Don't cut in there and, and wreck the spring. And don't worry if you don't do the greatest little notch here. Like you can see that mine is a little, you know, I did a die grinder, it's not the greatest, but you don't see that, because this part's gonna slide into your tailgate. So you're never ever gonna see that again. So who cares? You don't have to be, you don't have to do a hundred, you know, million dollar job there. And what happens is in the end, then, you can see, I've already got this one locked, there we go, I open it. See, I did the same thing. I cut the tailgate where I'm supposed to right there, but then I notched it down. So you guys out there that are using these on the Ford pickups that they're meant for, this would be a good little trick for you guys. Notch these barrels out so they lock down and notch your tailgate. Because any guys that have used these know they're fairly tight. Like this tailgate's not mounted on the truck right now, so it's going to be hard. I'm going to try and push this. It's probably going to move. Maybe it's not. But 
Oh, see? Oh, tailgate to move. There we go, see? So that just makes it so much easier. You got one there, and see, I have, I've got this one out right now, and you got one there. That makes it so much easier for opening and closing the tailgate, in my opinion. So anyone out there, here, let me turn this around, sorry. Any of you guys out there that got, that got a 55 and up Chevy pickup, uh, these barrel things are like half the price of the kit that they were selling for the actual uh, 55 and up Chevy trucks. I don't know, I saw pictures of the kit, it's, uh, it's got a few more things involved in it, and it would take the same amount of time to put the other kit, the proper kit in, as it did this. So at the end of the day, this is actually a cheaper route to go, in my opinion. Um, so the only other thing you're left with that you gotta do now is, here, let me turn this camera back around. Now, because, sorry guys, here we go. Because you've got your barrel locks in, there you go. Now we'll go in this room here, it's a bit crowded in here. What I've done is there's Tim's box right there. All you do is you get, let me get around here. All you do is you get the tailgate. Now you put the tailgate on and all you have to do is when the tailgate is closed, you got to drill a little hole right there. And what that does is that allows the pin to go through there and lock closed. So the only thing left you do is you cut off your old, you cut off your old things that your chains would go on to. You don't need them anymore. And then what we're going to do is on Tim's truck is you can see right, let me get this. You can see right in there. That's where his fenders would mount all in these holes. We're going to probably use this hole. And you go to your local uh, automotive parts store, and on newer trucks, let me turn this back around again. On newer Chevy pickups, they have them the black cable things. When you open your tailgate, you've all seen them on the newer trucks, and they hold your tailgate from falling down. We're going to grab a set of those. We're going to figure out the length. We're going to grab a set of those, and we're going to mount them using, using his, uh, his existing hole where his fender would mount. We're going to use it, we're going to mount it right there, and then we're going to mount it on the other end of his tailgate. So when he pulls the tailgate down, it's going to hold his tailgate level. So that's it. Um, that's my little trick there. I'll just, we'll just go back and we'll look. So there you go. So there's our barrel locks right there. Like I say, you can get it at any parts store. And uh, that's it, guys. Basically, get yourself a piece of tubing. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day here, you really do not need, this is a good how-to video. You really don't need me to explain how to do this on the video. It gives you a little bit of a video shot there so you can see what is involved. But if you got a Chevy pickup and you want to buy them, it's pretty basic. Even though the instructions are for a Ford, there's no big deal. All they do is slide in the tube. That's it. So the only thing you're going to do different is you're going to take your Chevy pickup, you're going to go buy yourself a piece of tubing that those barrel locks are going to fit into, and you're just going to, you're just going to weld that into the end of your tailgate up top. No big deal. Once you do that, it's the same instructions on how to mount it in the Ford as it would be for your Chev because now you've made your Chev around up top. So I hope you guys like that tip. I hope it worked out for you and uh, give me some feedback, let me know. I'm sorry about the videoing again. It's a little difficult. I don't have all the stuff to hold the cameras. You know, I'm not set up that way and I don't know if I ever will be set up that way. That's not what it's about here. I'm about here to, to work and work on customer cars but you got to see what's going on and um, that's it. So give me some feedback. I hope it works out for you and see you later.